Welcome children to our very first mathematics flip classroom lesson. Today we are going to learn about length. In this lesson, you will be able to recall the units of measurement in meter and centimeter for measuring length and distances. Use this formula 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters to convert units. And last but not least, convert meters to centimeters. This is the first case. The second case, convert centimeters to meters. And the third case, convert meters and centimeters into centimeters only. Do have your worksheet next to you as well as a pencil because you need you will need to answer a few questions along the way. What is length? Length refers to how long an object or an item is. And length, length comes in three different units of measurement and they are known as standard units of measurement. The first one, centimeters, the short form is cm. The next one, meters, the short form is m. And last but not least, you have kilometers, the short form is km. Out of these three standard units of measurement for length, cm, m and km, cm is the smallest unit of measurement, while km is the greatest or largest unit of measurement. Take a look at your ruler. How long is your ruler? Which unit is used when you measure with your ruler? Do remember to write down the answers to questions 1A and 1B, uh, one, sorry, A1 and A2 that are found in your question paper. Next, let's move on. Let's talk more about centimeters. What are the different things you can measure in centimeters? And do not forget, just now we already mentioned that centimeters cm is the smallest unit of measurement. Well, for your information, 1 cm is roughly about as long as a staple or even as thick as one notepad. Look around the room that you are in. Name an item that you can measure in centimeters and write it down in the worksheet given. And that will be your, the answer to your question B. Remember to press the pause button if you need some time to write your answers down. Next, let's move on to meters. What are the things you can measure in meters? Well, for your information, one meter is about five steps up a staircase. And one meter is roughly about the distance when you stretch your arms wide apart from your left hand to your right hand. That distance there is roughly about one meter. Look around the room that you are in now. Name an item that you can measure in meters and write it down in the worksheet given. And yes, that will be the answer to your question C. Once again, do remember to press the pause button if you need some time to write your answers down. Are you ready to move on? Now this formula for length is extremely, extremely important. 100 cent cm or centimeters is equal to how many meter or meters? It is 100 cm is equal to 1 meter. Do remember that this is extremely important. And this also means that in 1 meter, there are altogether 100 centimeters. Do remember this and once again, answer question D that is found in your worksheet. Now let's try a few questions. Let's try to convert some units. If you are given one meter and one meter and thirty-eight centimeters, if you are asked to change to change this totally to centimeters, how do you do it? Always remember your number bonds. Now, since our first day of our maths lesson in the P3 level, we have been using number bonds for so many topics. Now. Let's break 1 meter and 38 centimeters into two parts. 1 meter, as you know, is made up of 100 centimeters 
And this is, yes, the formula that you saw just now. And if, this is the first part, 100 centimeter, the second part would be, yes, 38 cm, 38 centimeters. So you have it, number bonds is used to solve this question. So 1 meter, 1 meter and 38 centimeters is equals to 100 centimeters plus 38 centimeters. And when you add these two together, since you have to check first, since they are of the same unit of measurement, cm and also cm over here, you are free to add both values and you will have 138 cm, 138 centimeters. If you are not clear at any point in time, just remember to play back this video. Now, let's move on to another example. How about if you are given 270 cm, 270 centimeters, and you are asked to convert this into meter, meters and centimeters? How do you do it? Yes, do remember to use number bonds once again. Do ask yourself, in 270, what are the two different numbers that you see that make up 270? Well, you should be able to tell me in 270, there is 200, 200 as well as, yes, 270, take away 200, you will get 70. And remember, 100 cm, the formula, 100 cm is equals to 1 meter, so 200 centimeters must be equals to 2 meters. So 200 centimeters and 70 centimeters will give you 270 centimeters. So how do you write it down properly in number sentences? 270 centimeters is equals to 200 centimeters plus 70 centimeters. And, he from, and here, do remember to use the conversion, your formula. 200 cm is equals to 2 meters. And we'll just write 70 cm here. And this will be your final answer. Now, let's try a few more questions. If, you, if the instruction is to write in centimeters, and if you are given these two questions, how do you do them? Let's take a look at the first one. 4, meter, 4 meters and 12 centimeters. How to convert this into centimeters? Well, the answer is 412, but how do we get the answer? Remember, just now we mentioned in 1 meter, you will get 100 centimeters. So therefore, in 4 meters, you should have 400 centimeters. 400 centimeters plus 12 centimeters, you will get 412 centimeters. As for the next one, 7 meters, 9 centimeter. Again, the same way of doing, remember your formula, 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeters. Therefore, in 7 meters, just look at this one first, in 7 meters, you will get 700 centimeters. So 700 centimeters plus just 9 centimeters, you should get 700 plus 9, 709 centimeters. Now let's move on to a few more other questions. Remember children, for mathematics, eh? pra practice makes perfect. All right, so please don't discourage. Please don't be discouraged if you feel very confused right now. Let's move on to a few more other questions. How about these two questions? 107 cent centimeters, convert this into meters and centimeter. And for the second one, 680 centimeters, convert this into meters and centimeters. Well, the first one, 107 centimeters. Now remember for the earlier question, uh, for, the, for the earlier question, we change, we have to break this up into its number bonds. What are the two numbers that make up 107? You should think of 107. So if 100 centimeters is what you, what, you, what you see, so 100 centimeters, remember, it is back to 1 meter and we are left with 7. So that's why your 7, please fill it in here in this blank. And for the next question, 
680 centimeters. In 680, you should see 680. So in 100 centimeters, you will have one meter. Therefore, 600 centimeters is the same as six meters. So you will have six meters over here and the remaining value of 80, please write it down here. So therefore, the answer will be 6 meters, 80 centimeters. As I've mentioned just now, practice makes perfect. So turn to your max workbook, page 29 and 30, which we have torn out, and please complete these two pages. If you have more questions, please do not worry. I will answer your questions in class the next day tomorrow, alright? So please do these two pages now and also remember to fill in the answers to the worksheet. Thank you very much and I'll see you in class soon. Bye!